This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and today's Glider Pro House is Nemo's Market by Ward Hardenstein, or Hartenstein? Hartenstein? Ow. I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Regardless, it's a short, sweet house, and I like it. It's not even really a conventional house, which kind of makes it even better. I love the, uh, the hours on the store. Kind of slightly weird, like a like a real local business. <laughs> and yeah, the video did start. The, the the footage that we used did start at 4:20 a.m. That is entirely coincidental. I do not plan these things. Also, I hope you know your default Glider Pro obstacles. Uh, I think the shopping carts are solid though. So don't hit those, but most of the objects on the shelves are not. These are. It's the, the default Glider Pro of uh, books and CDs to use as obstacles in a lot of houses. Now this is the gimmick of this house, the shopping sprees. They are a limited time room. Once the, it's called eight second shopping spree, that one is. And once the time runs out, yeah, that happens. You run out of time and you're teleported out of there. And since you need all the stars to complete a house, well, if you don't get the star, then you can't complete the house. I think it took like six or seven attempts to get through this house and... Uh, at least a couple of those attempts were thwarted because I did not I did not get one of the stars in one of the shopping spree rooms. I like the little cafe area too. Like, I've definitely run into the uh, local convenience stores that have the cafe areas. That was a nice run, every every bonus in that room. That's where um, a lot of the competition for score comes from on, uh, on this house. Because you have to get the bonuses quickly in the shopping spree rooms. And the star is worth points too, so of course you have to grab that too. And you have to do that to get past the house anyway, so... Disclaimer, I did stream this, so I was probably responding to a question there, but... And also, I did not have that many attempts under my belt, so there's that, too. It's not like Slumberland, where I practically know it like the back of my hand at this point. I wonder if I should play the glider houses in a uh, higher resolution so I can see the adjacent rooms better. Because Glider Pro does support really high resolutions. And as you can see, you kind of see into the uh, neighboring rooms. And as you definitely saw earlier with the extra glider, like I couldn't collect it because I wasn't in the room, but... But it's still let but it's but you can still see the you can still see the items and things like that. Ow. <laughs> so it can still be incredibly helpful. To plan your route in advance. Rather than leap into the next room like that and be like, oh no. It's a very active seafood section. You have haunted discount appliances that turn on by themselves. Including the microwaves. The evil, evil microwaves. Anyone who's played Glider Pro tell you about those microwaves, man. 
Oof. Yeah, you have to get through there relatively quickly. Just because of the way the vent is set up. I had not gotten to this point very often yet, so uh barely got the star on that one. Yeah, barely. Just like collected it and immediately got ported out of there. So you can tell that I was pretty new to that segment of of the house and doing the common glider pro thing of checking the incidental background items for bonus points. A lot of houses like to hide bonus points in the background items. In this house, the roses also act as spider webs, just like the flypaper does. They will get you stuck, which might happen at some point in this run, because I think I might mess up the routing, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Regardless, you don't want to hit those. <laughs> I think I was demonstrating the turning to people who are... Or no. I did have a reason for turning around. There was people who were new to Glider Pro on the stream, so I was demonstrating some things during and explaining how things work. Like, if I can introduce new people to the wonderful world of Glider Pro, then... Also, I love the room titles in here. Like, now, where did I park? <laughs> and that is... that is Nemo's Market. It's a short little house, but... And didn't take too many attempts to get through. This whole The whole video file of all my attempts is about 25 minutes long, so... Not... Not exactly a huge plethora of attempts, but my score is definitely beatable, though. I did not get a perfect score on that by any means, not in the... Uh, obviously due to the uh, shopping spree segments, that is... That is the main thing. But I like it. It's a fun little house. It's not too hard, but it's hard enough that there's some replayability there if you want to improve your score. So yeah, 32 rooms, but they're all fun. So there you go. This is Tanara Kurinov signing off. Until next time.